Sandil sir? Sir? Okay. Okay, let us start. Sir, Sandil, sir. Ma'am. Okay, sir. Okay. Am I audible? Okay. okay, sir. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, let us start, sir. Let us start. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, good evening one and all. Let us start our national level webinar on cultural studies with the blessings of God Almighty. I am Dr. Sangeeta, Head PG Department of English, Thiruvalluvar University, Constituent College, Kalakurichi. I feel immensely honored to be here as an organizer in Before You. For that, I would like to uh, <coughs> express my sincere gratitude to our Honorable Vice Chancellor and our respected Registrar and our Constituent Colleges uh, Director, Dr. Dandapani Sir, and our University Dean, Dr. Thangaraj Sir. At the outset, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all, our dear, dear participants. Uh, your continuous participation and support encourages me to conduct uh, the continuous webinars in this series. And I welcome you all uh, and thank you. And my humble request to you all is the feedback link will be uh, sent to uh, the uh, will not be sent to the individual members. And please don't ask me the link after its closing. And the feedback link will be stopped uh, sharply at 6:30 p.m. Uh, so before that, you kindly fill the forms. Otherwise, I am not responsible for that. So kindly cooperate with me, my dear participants. Next, I welcome our. Uh, uh, today's resource persons, Mr. V. Sendil Nadan and Dr. Elangbam Hamanta Singh. Welcome, sirs. Now, let me start my presentation, Introduction to Cultural Studies. 
cultural studies is a field that looks so comprehend the importance with regards to practices and customs inside a, um, a general public it uh, additionally investigates how messages are uh, uh, proceed on through aesthetic articulation and media cultural studies is a union of uh, uh, various subjects in the uh, domain of the human humanities and sociologies by uh, deciding meaning or under the methods of human articulation with regards to culture social investigations uh, endeavors to clarify social wonders especially concerning financial and political atmosphere there is an assortment of points of view on how culture is characterized from a wide perspective culture comprises of a lot of social practices and perspectives that express mutual implying that is conveyed through imagery language and workmanship culture and cultural studies advance because uh, of any number of wonders <laughs> changes in culture reflect how a gathering um, uh, adjusts to such wonders regardless of whether they are of your political political or sociological nature cultural studies was initially developed by british marxist uh, academies uh, in the later 1950s uh, and 1960s and 1970s and has been uh, subsequently taken up and transformed by scholars from many different disciplines around the world cultural studies is overtly and even radically interdisciplinary and can sometimes be as uh, sorry seen as uh, anti disciplinary a key concern for uh, cultural studies practitioners is the examination of the forces within and through which socially organized people conduct and participate in the construction of their everyday lives as a result cultural studies as a field of research is uh, not concerned with the linguistically uncategorized experiences of individuals or in a, a more radical approach holds that individual experiences do not exist being uh, always the result of a particular social political context uh richard hogard used the term in 1964 uh in founding the center for contemporary cultural studies that is the triple cs at the university of uh, birmingham the center would become more home to the development of the intellectual orientation that has become known internationally as the birmingham school of cultural studies thus becoming the world's first institutional home of cultural studies in canada cultural studies has sometimes focused on issues of technology and society continuing the emphasis in the work of uh, marshall uh, mcluhan and herald Ines and others cultural studies journals based in Canada include topic Canadian Journal of Cultural Studies in Africa uh, human rights and uh, uh, third world war uh, uh, issues are among the central points treated cultural studies journals uh, based in Africa include the Journal of African Cultural Studies in latin uh, america cultural studies have drawn on thinkers such as jose marti angel rama and other latin american uh, figures in addition to the western theoretical sources associated with cultural studies in other parts of the world leading la 
Latin American cultural studies scholars include uh, Nestor uh, Gargia uh, Castellini, uh, Jesus Martin uh, uh, Barbero, and Beatrice Sarlio. Among the uh, key issues addressed by Latin American cultural studies scholars or, or uh, decolonized urban cultures uh, and uh, uh, post development theory. Latin American cultural studies journals include the Journal of uh, Latin American Cultural Studies. Even though cultural st studies developed uh, much more rapidly in the UK than in a continental Europe, there is a, a significant cultural studies presence in countries such as France, uh, Spain, and Portugal. The field of uh, relatively um, uh, undeveloped in Germany, probably due to the continued influence of the Frankfurt School, which is now often said to be in its uh, third generation, which includes uh, uh, notable figures such as Axel Honneth, uh, cultural studies journals tested in continental Europe include the European Journal of uh, Cultural Studies, the, jo uh, the Journal of uh, Spanish Cultural Studies, mm -hmm. French Cultural Studies, mm -hmm. and Portugal Cultural Studies. In Germany, the term cultural studies mm -hmm. uh, specifically refers to the field in the Anglosphere, especially British Cultural Studies, to differentiate it from the German uh, uh, Calvir, uh, culture with Saint Craft, which uh, developed during develop, uh, different lines and is categorized by its different uh, distance from political science. However, uh, culture uh, with Saint Craft and cultural studies are often used interchangeably, particularly by lay people. Uh, throughout Asia, cultural studies have uh, uh, boomed and thrived since at least the beginning of the 1990s. Cultural studies journals are based in Asia, including Inter-Asia uh, Cultural Studies. In India, the Center for Study of Culture and Society, Bangalore and the Department of Cultural Studies at the English and Foreign Languages and the University of Hyderabad are the two major institutional spaces for cultural studies. Cultural studies continues a variety of uh, political engaged critical approaches drawn including semiotics, Marxism, uh, feminist uh, theory, uh, uh, ethnography, cultural race uh, theory, post-structuralism, uh, post-colonialism, uh, social theory, then uh, communication studies, uh, political economy, translation studies, museum studies, and art history. Uh, to study cultural phenomena in various societies and historical periods. Cultural studies seeks to understand how meaning is generated and disseminated contested, bound up with and control, and produced from the social, political, and economic spheres within a particular social formation or conjecture. Important theories of uh, cultural hegemony and agency have both influenced and been developed by the cultural studies movement. So, uh, sorry, has have uh, many recent major communication theories and agendas, such as uh, those that attempt to explain and analyze the cultural forces uh, related and process of globalization. Cultural practices uh, uh, extend in unpredictability from shaping a line to boarding a transport or uh, uh, brushing one's teeth to setting a supper table on drafting a business letter. By taking part in such practices, 
people relate to different individuals from a gathering or society to completely uh, investigate the uh, repercussions of culture and social morals social examinations must to draw on the perspective of related contents it has been said that uh, culture does not exist in a vacuum this is to state that culture isn't impenetrable to the impact of uh, occasions and wonders the encompass it additionally the field of uh, social investigation doesn't exist as a unique thought or maybe it uh, uh, coordinates a few territories of uh, uh, study that incorporate however or not uh, constrained to human science constrained to human science uh, legislative issues history artistic analysis uh, media studies and sexual orientation uh, contemplates uh, being uh, uh, situated as a uh, scholarly junction social investigations has been uh, uh, the subject of analysis and understanding in the scholastic network some ascribe this to the manners by which the establishments that proclaim investigate and in any case participate in the investigation of culture are themselves influenced by the social and world of politics which where, where they exist one master clarifies this as a qualifications between an order and an examination the previous uh, uh, encapsulates the subject and the last exemplifies uh, uh, investigation of the subject inside organizations that are uh, dependent upon social and political influence cultural studies look at how settled uh, methods of correspondence influence the verbal and non verbal messages in the political field one master calls attention to that that the uh, approach of the world wide web and the expansion of cell phones had altered the manner in which individuals uh, import and get to all the uh, way of data ways of data the move to convenient pcs wifi empowered media players and mobile phones from tvs radios and papers delineates how culture develops by perceiving these changes uh those in the political field take more noteworthy consideration with their messages and the implication of uh, by implication they wish to uh, pass on the next women's uh, activities uh, activist development of the 1970s acquired another measurement with the social investigations by looking at the job of ladies and of sexual orientation as communicated in creative and scholarly portrayals from a uh, women's activist perspective social investigations investigates practices and social practices from the perspective of sexual orientation desires at the end of the day how customary traditions and practices express a culture's mentality towards ladies on the uh, off chance that ladies are influenced omnisciously uh, social examinations would solicit which way from uh, social change would impact more noteworthy balance or and open door for ladies cultural studies distinguishes uh, the messages and importance behind the treatment and jobs of ladies like the manner in which it uh, inspects the social effect of class and race the improvement of uh, private enterprise from 18th century uh, mercantilism 
continuously changed the world request monetary classes uh, uh, sorry dependent on uh, honorability of birth relinked into classes dependent on a free market framework and the serious arrangement of uh, uh, mercantiles and ventures this brought about move noteworthy chance and more space for advancement and innovation diverse cultural forces uh, political aesthetic uh, economic um, technological and ideological produce all texts at the same time uh, though we use such texts to invent contest and remake our cultures from movement to movement the cultural studies model invi invites students to explore these process of cultural production the challenges involved in conceptualizing and the possibilities for transforming them the mental organizers sorry uh, the model organizers is approach to the english major by identifying five areas of questions the first one is uh, the general domain of uh, questions posed by the critical and cultural theory the second one is the issues raised by specific uh, forms and genres from epic to romance and from film noir to the uh, sitcom as the shaping devices through which cultures represent their conflicts and aspiration to themselves the third one is the questions that emerge at the intersection of forms of uh, cultural production and a variety of social differences for example racial ethnic gendered and uh, national and sexual the fourth one is questions regarding uh, the different configurations of material social and economic relations of uh, technology that obtain in oral uh, manuscript print film and electronic cultures this move was additionally set apart from by the beginning of the me mechanical transformation and advancement of uh, socialist way of so socialist way of uh, thinking the enlarging hole between the rich and poor and the going with imbalances or clear in writing from the period as is valid for any period ever the wealth of those who were well out and the material imperatives on the less wealthy influenced conduct and mentalities that added to social improvements both inside classes and in social orders all in all the results of this period and their impact on culture uh, represent the topic and patterns that social examinations expect to comprehend and clarify individuals and the societies around the globe are getting progressively interconnected through quicker methods for transportation close general internet access and worldwide activities to diminish uh, hindrances to international commerce social investigations will assume a significant job in clarifying the subtleties and uh, course and advancement of phenomenal global culture reader then concentrating exclusively uh, on the group of elite texts that make up so called high culture cultural studies uh, Uh, takes as its focus the whole complex of changing beliefs ideas feelings values symbols that define a community's organization 
and sense of itself. Culture in this sense is often understood to be a primary vehicle of globalization in the contemporary world and deeply enmeshed in particular uh, social, economical, and political uh, environments. As such, when we study culture, uh, we are studying the work we live in and how we function in it. The fourth perspective on cultural studies in the late quarter of the 20th century, four approaches to cultural studies drew growing attention. To a large extent and outside the main trend in social science, these approaches were uh, mostly uh, oriented toward meeting, symbolism, language, and discourse. They were uh, rooted in deeper philosophical traditions which were different and significantly outside the positivist tradition of contemporary social science. The first approach is phenomenology, then cultural anthropology, uh, structuralism, and uh, critical theory. Most European in origin, uh, these perspectives increasingly attracted more attention to the point that the main assumptions of cultural research considerably derived from one or more of these traditions. Each of these approaches has been the subject of major theoretical work and they all include competitive concepts and influential leading authors with substantial contributions to cultural studies in their own right. Leading figures like uh, include Peter L. Berger, uh, Mary Douglas, um, Michael Foucault, and uh, Jurgen Habermas, who have made major contributions in the study of culture by trying to structure a more appropriate framework for analysis. Each perspective is a reflection of different philosophical, national, and intellectual contexts. However, they all place particular emphasis on language and communications, on classification systems, on what is symbolic and expressive, and on culture, and address the issues of subjectivity and human perception. To some extent, we may say that each of these perspectives stresses different aspects for, of the uh, cultural reality in such a way that while one perspective's strength may be another perspective's weakness. Together, they greatly help to understand the complex and multidimensional nature of culture. The culture studies is an interdisciplinary field of studies, which means that it draws from many different subject areas, including sociology, anthropology, political science, and history. Although it is sometimes misunderstood as being the study of popular culture, cultural studies is in fact the study of the ways in which culture is constructed and organized and the ways in which revolves and changes over time. So this is the uh, brief introduction to the cultural studies. Let me conclude my session and I welcome Mr. V. Sendhilnathan to give his presentation. Sir, please. Welcome, sir. Yes, sir. You just introduce yourself and continue your presentation. Thank you. Sir, unmute your voice. Sir, unmute your voice. Yes. I'm Sandil Nathan, first time professor working in uh, 
Thiruvalluvar University Constant College, Kalakuchi. And I have 15 years experience in teaching. Uh, and I received a uh, Best Teacher Award from the previous college where I worked in the year 2008 and 2018. And today, I'm about to speak on the topic, Cultural Studies and its Relevance in the Present Scenario. Uh, first of all, I would like to convey my sincere thanks to our Vice Chancellor, Register and Director for giving us opportunity to conduct a national level webinar on cultural studies. Then, I would like to convey my sincere thanks to our Head of the Department, Dr. Sangeeta Lakshmanan, uh, who uh, highly devote her time and energy for the part of students' uh, life. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, and I feel it's appropriate to start uh, the session with our divine poet, Thiruvalluvar, who says, uh, who's put forth views on uh, culture. And he says, a great wealth or knowledge gained by a person without culture is like uh, a part of a pile of milk that kept in a bad vessel. So, yes, culture is desirable and uh, uh, culture is important in every individual life. So, uh, in this session, I'm about to discuss about culture and cultural uh, studies and then the key components of cultural studies and some of the writers of cultural studies or theorists. So, uh, let us begin the session with uh, PPT. I would like to use my PowerPoint to focus my points. Yes, sir. The PPT is not visible, sir. No, I'm checking. Ah, yeah, sir. It now it's visible. Ah, yes, sir. It's visible now. Um, is my PPT visible? Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. Let us start the session with the sense what is culture. Now, uh, let's see about the thing, what is culture? So culture is a characteristics of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, social habits, music, and arts. Ma'am? Yes, sir, you continue. Ma'am, is my... Yes, sir, it is visible. Pretty visible. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, okay. Okay. And, uh, sorry. Culture is a characteristic of knowledge of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, social habits, music, and arts. It encompasses religion, food, what we wear, or uh, how we wear it, our language, marriage system, and what we believe is right or wrong, and how we sit in a table or uh, how we greet our visitors, how we behave with our loved ones and a million other things. So culture uh, is an important thing that plays a vital role in every individual being. One can change one way of clothing, eating and living, but the traditional culture is something that remains unchanged because it is deeply rooted within one's heart mind, body, and soul. It is quite natural for writers to give room to their own culture 
and social background in their writing. Various disciplines like anthropology, sociology, philosophy, and other social sciences have attempted to define every culture. Everyone seems to be familiar with culture and everyone seems to understand it. So coming to etymology, culture. It is based on the term cultura anime by the ancient Roman writer Cicero in his Tusculan disputations to refer the cultivation of soul. In Middle English, it comes from uh, a Latin word, cora, to inhabit, care, fertility, worship, and cults, and especially a religious one. Uh, let's Uh, human have a variety of food items and for example lion cannot survive in uh, survive on grass whereas human uh, can survive on anything else whatever he come across so uh, then there Sorry, this observation proves that men can transcend to a certain extent his biological needs for spiritual and religious reasons but animals are always rooted in their organismic needs Thus, culture intervenes in the satisfaction of biological needs too. Both humans as well as animals adapt to the environment. However, animals have no external assets. Thus, they are solely to depend totally on their biological organs. However, humans have culture which helps in adaptation to the environment. Example, uh, for example, igloos uh, protect Eskimos. This is a cultural condition. There is much more to the relationship between men and environment other than just adaptation. Man not only adapts and adjusts to the environment, but also changes the environment to suit his needs and preferences. Unlike animals, human beings have the ability to change their behavior in response to the wide range of environmental demands. This ability in human is known as plasticity, which has allow the human to survive under a variety of unfavorable ecological conditions. So it suggests that culture includes tools, weapons, fire, agriculture, animal domestication, writing, the steam engine, glasses, aeroplanes, computers, pencil, nuclear weapon, and so on. It includes plants, roots, technology, techniques, design, and even the policies made for better living. Then, Coming to the futures of culture, every human group has a culture. Every human group has a culture. It differs from society to society. It also has different origins. That is, it is marked by uniqueness. Culture also provides each member of group with a notion of identity by telling you who you are. So culture gives the presence a person a sense of belongingness which means the person belonging to the particular group a particular society then culture gives us a sense of pride culture is a social and it occurs in a group culture is acquired it is something man is not born with but something in which a man is born into it is something man learns by virtue of being a member of society so culture is learned through the process of socialization culture is a social heritage and culture is gratifying and it satisfies the needs of the individual so culture culture tends to be integrated and culture can be institutionalized and culture is super organic it is above society people and societies 
come and go, but culture continue to survive. So culture is therefore super individual and super urban. So these are the main features of culture. Let's have a we want cultural studies. So what is cultural studies? What are the things that come under cultural studies? So cultural studies is an interdisciplinary field of studies, which means that is drawn from many different subject areas, including sociology, anthropology, political science, and history. And the text of cultural studies comprises all the meaningful art craft of culture. So a cultural art craft is a term used in the social sciences, particularly anthropology, ethnology, and sociology for anything created by humans that gives information about the culture of its creator and users. Then coming for the evolution of cultural studies. So the term cultural studies is coined by Richard Hogan in 16, 1964, what uh, our man had already remembered. Uh, it was uh, coined by Richard Hogan in 1964 when he founded the Birmingham Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies or Triple CS. It has since become stronger associated with Stuart Hall, who succeeded Hogan as director. When uh, Richard Hall calls Stuart Hall to uh, work in Birmingham Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies, and he won or his contribution made him to become a director in future from 1960s to 1980s and that is the period and it was during this time that an identifiable and a particular field called culture studies began to emerge. Stuart Hall is perhaps the most significant figure in the development of British cultural studies. His works makes considerable use of Antonio Gramsci and the concepts of ideology and hegemony. Though he also played a significant part in deploying post-culturalism in cultural studies. Then the works of Richard Hogarth, Raymond Williams, E.P. Thompson and Stuart Hall, all of whom were associated with Birmingham School of Cultural Studies at various times are regarded as the founding foundational text of cultural studies. Their focus was on how culture is practiced and how culture is made or how culture practice leads different groups and classes to struggle for cultural domination from 1970s onward an international intellectual movement was created by Stuart Hall's pioneering work along with his colleagues Paul Willis, Dick Herbridge, Tony Jefferson and Angela McRobbie. The study of culture has no origin and to locate one is to exclude other possibly starting points. So uh, the text of Stuart Hall and other contemporaries of Hall generate political effects reproducing the governing social institution and relation of domination and subordination. Cultural studies is a study of culture on or more particular the study of contemporary culture. So it depends on social sciences disciplines and all the branches of humanity and arts for its function. Then coming for the need for cultural studies. Why do we need cultural studies? And what are the things that makes us to read cultural studies in the present scenario? Because cultural studies allows a critical scrutiny of culture without prior prejudices toward one or another sort of cultural text. It provides tool which enable one to read and interpret one's culture critically. It supports the distinction between the high and low culture. It establishes culture within a theory of social production and reproduction, specifying way that culture form serves to further social domination or to enable people to resist and struggle against domination. It asserts value of popular culture. So we need cultural studies, empowering minority and values their culture, stressing on cultural pluralism and egalitarianism. Then it specifies, cultural study specifies what ideology is operative in a given cultural art craft. It lent itself to a multiculturalist program and it shows how much media cultural manipulates and 
indoctrinate us, thus empowering individual to resist the dominant mean. Then coming for uh, coming for the components of cultural studies, and I hereby present the three components: one is political economy cultural text analysis and audiences reception of text and their efforts. Uh, coming towards political economy, political economy of culture means to analyze culture texts within their system of production and distribution. So textual analysis of it, the products of media culture employs multi-dimensional textual reading to analyze their various forms of discourses, ideological positions, narrative strategies, constructions and effects and this is generally done through cultural studies and there are two components in textual analysis one is content analysis another one is semiology for content analysis that is analysis of contents of communication influential new lift review so some of his works policy the crisis the great moving right show and in this work he has coined the term thatcherism uh, that depends on Margaret Thatcher. Then uh, his most famous work is Encoding or Decoding. It was published in 1973. And in this, he proposed a model of media reception. And uh, according to Hall, uh, what he says, setting cultural codes are so widely circulated and integrated into the mainstream culture that they can be seen as naturalized. In this, he analyzed culture as a continuous circuit and it encompasses production distribution production and it is one of his most influential pieces of media criticism as a whole provides and uh, the whole work provides a panoramic view of Hall's fundamental contribution to cultural studies then coming towards Raymond Williams who coined the term cultural materialism so Raymond Williams is a Welsh Marxist theorist academic academician novelist and Critic influential within the new left and in wider culture. His writings covers on politics, culture, media, literature, and it made a marked contribution to the Marxist critic of culture and the arts. His work laid foundation for the field of cultural studies and the cultural materialism. Sir, now then, your PPT is not visible, sir. Somebody uh -huh. presented in their present button, that's why it is cutted. Ma'am, is that visible? Uh, sir, once again, you press the present button and we put your PPT, sir. Okay. Audience, please don't uh, press the uh, presentation button because uh, his PPT will not be visible. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You continue. No? Yes, sir. You continue. Now it's visible. Is, is that visible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Raymond Williams. Raymond Williams is a Welsh Marxist theorist, what we already uh, saw him. Uh, he is a person who coined the term cultural materialism to describe a theoretical blending of Marxist analysis and leftist culturalism. William emphasized the material significance of culture. For him, culture is a lived experience. It consists of meaning generated by ordinary men and women. The lived experiences of the participants and the texts and practices engaged in by all people and they conduct their life. Culture is not free of the material conditions. According to cultural materialism, culture is simply neither a reflection of economic forces and relationship, nor is it an abstract and idealistic entity. So in fact, culture is made up of texts which are produced and consumed through social processes and the way of life of specific groups. Therefore, culture is material. 
so this theory is also concerned with a specific historical document which are analyzed cultural materialists analyzed the method by which hegemonic forces in society take control over historically important texts cultural materialists want to bring attention to the means used by contemporary power structures like the church or state in order to designate theology so sorry ideology william has insisted that culture is understood through the representation and practices of our daily life moreover this has to be done in the context of material condition of culture and their production this according to william is cultural materialism so uh, he is known for his work border country second generation volunteers then people of black mountains reading and criticism culture and society long revolution politics and letters tenses of imagination and so on then coming to jean barrier he is a french sociologist philosopher and cultural theorist he is best known for his analysis of media contemporary culture and technological communication as well as his formulation of concepts such as simultaneous and hyper reality he wrote about diverse subjects including consumerism gender relation economics social history art western foreign policy and popular culture and he is well known for his work selection simulcara and simulation and uh, his most famous definition about uh, simulcara the simulcara is never that which conceals the truth it is the truth which conceals that there is none so simulcara is truth so uh, in that simulcara and simulation he delineates five order in four stages in that the first stage is a faithful image or copy where we believe and it may even be correct that a sign is a reflection of the profound reality that is a good appearance in which balier called the sacramental order again the second stage is perversion of reality this is where we come to believe the sign to be unfaithful copy which mask and delineate reality as a evil appearances it is of the order of maleficence here signs and images do not faithfully reveal reality to us but can hint at the existence of obscure reality which the sign itself is incapable of encapsulating then the third stage mask the absence of profound reality wherein the sign pretends to be a faithful copy but it is a copy with no original then the fourth stage is pure simulacrum in which the simulacrum has no relation to any reality whatsoever here signs merely reflect other things and any claim to reality on the part of images or signs is only of the order of such other claims some of his other works were the gulf war did not take place it is his most famous work uh, which is divided into three parts part 1 and that was published in liberation the gulf war will not take place and coming to part 2 the gulf war is not really taking place and the third part uh, entitled the gulf war did not take place these are the most famous works what we have to know about jean valdier uh, who is much the most famous important writer of cultural studies then coming for lucy irigir uh, she is the famous writer Uh, whom we can see in the recent uh, net ugc net examinations to lucy iri she is a belgian born french feminist philosopher linguist psycholinguist and psychoanalyst and cultural theorist who examined the uses and misuses of language in relation to women so her first and most well known works uh, published in 1974 was speculum of the other women which analyzes the text of freud hegel plato then aristotle descartes and the kant through the lens of phalagocentrism what we know about uh, when we come across phalagocentrism term surely we should remember there it are here in this the essay entitled the blind spot of an old dream criticizes freud's lecture on femininity then coming for the next book the six which is not one it discusses lacan's work as well as the political 
economy. And in that, she argues that the phallic economy places women alongside science and the currency, since all forms of exchange are conducted exclusively between men. So the next work of Lucy Irigaris, Elemental Passion, that was published in 1982. And this can be read as a response to Ponty's article, The Intervening the Chasm in the Visible and the Invisible. Then coming towards the next one, The Forgetting of Aaron Martin Heidegger, that is published in 1990. It criticizes Heidegger's emphasis on the element of earth as the ground of life and speech and his oblivion or forgetting of air. So uh, she is one of the most famous cultural theorists uh, who uh, contributed much for cultural studies. Then coming for Rachel. So she was born in 1957. Uh, she's a cultural critic specializing in 20th century Chinese fiction and film and the post-colonial theories. So Chow's writing challenges assumptions in many different scholars conservations, including those about literature, film, visual media, sexuality and gender, ethnicity and cross-culture politics, inspired by the critical tradition of post-structuralism, post-colonialism and cultural studies. Rachel explores the problematic assumptions about non-Western cultures and ethnic minorities within the context of academic discourse, as well as in more public discourse about ethnic and cultural identity. So some of our, uh, the works which should be remembered is women and Chinese modernity, uh, ethics of, of idealism, the protest ethnic and the spirit of capitalism and the age of world target, sentimental fabulations, contemporary Chinese films. These are the works that we should, that we should remember when we come across Ray Chow. Then uh, uh, we have more number of writers who contributed much for cultural studies were Louis Althusser, Michel Foucault, Anthony Gramsci, uh, Jean Francis Lightrod, Theodore W. Odom, Pierre Baudet, then Homiki Baba, uh, Michael D. Sertex, then again Chandra Dalpal Mohanty and Sarah Solid. These are the most important cultural theorists and writers uh, who contributed much to develop uh, cultural studies all around the world. Then coming towards conclusion, much of the work produced in cultural studies emphasizes the use of cultural texts and articles and practices of everyday life in local and contingent contexts, often by a particular sub subset of a larger social system. Cultural studies have a significant contribution to make our understanding of the role which cultural policies plays as part of the distinctive configuration of the relation between government and culture, which characterizes modern societies. Cultural studies started a dissenting intellectual tradition outside intellectual tradition outside academia, dedication dedicated to exposing power in all its cultural forms. So it has now become a discipline and a part of academic establishment and its power structure to develop strategies for resistance and survival. So, and I would like to conclude my presentation here. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, ma'am. Ma'am? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your uh, uh, informative uh, presentation. And thank let you. me uh, invite our uh, uh, next resource person, Elangbam Hemanta Singh from Dhanamanchurian University. Please welcome, sir. Yeah. Good evening to everyone. Uh, madam, yes, am yes, I sir. audible? Yes, sir. Clearly okay. audible. You may proceed. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Alangmam Hamanta Singh from GP Women College, Dhanamanjuri. So, first of all, I would like to thank the VC and the register of the Tiruvalluvar University and the, my two uh, speakers before me, I would like to thank. Uh, so now most of the topic, uh, all my producer 
two speaker already mentioned uh, what is culture and what about how culture was born and the uh, what are the theories involved in the cultural theory, uh, cultural studies and and so on and so forth so uh, my topic is cultural studies on everyday life so before i start on the everyday life what are culture how far it is related to everyday life so i would just like to highlight or i just want to add some points what is culture so that even uh, all the my uh, colleagues who are participating most of my colleagues senior junior all even my students so i like to just give a simple what is culture in order to even common man can understand uh, if we uh, i think that this will give more to understand uh, what is culture so culture you know it is i would say it is social behavior or you can say it is an abstraction from the behavior or you can say culture is dance and music fashion and style or you can say poetry or stone acts this can we can call it culture that also not enough to define culture so again we can add more definition or what kind of so it is culture is a sort of or a kind of organization we can say or you can say it is a kind of family we can say or we can say a kind of institution so there are so many definition about a culture a plenty number so how culture is involved with organization family institution the thing is it involves it links with the economy what is the economy the main purpose of this culture is related with the production and consumption so this is supported by the marxist theory so this is that is why the four founders the four founders when it was born by the four founders so i many of my two speaker uh, mentioned about richard hogarth raman williams ep thompson stewart hall these four pillars these four pillars are the founder of the cultural study where they found why they found i will come later so it is involved with the marxist theory when it begins with the this cultural study so it's a culture is behavior culture is an an abstract from behavior or what you can it's a organization or family institution so it involves many many connotation with the culture the main purpose is kind of what is the main purpose of the organization of the culture is is production the economical forces involved with it so i will come with the example so that everyone will understand very clearly so so culture i have i said is a social behavior organization family institution and again we can add culture is political or we can say it is a way of life i can say it is a way of life it is very suitable every definition it it incorporates all the definition a way of life culture is i i would say it is a way of life so why it is way of life i will give an example then we will understand more clearly it is a way of life a culture is a its system is value beliefs and ideology so it involves so many things in the culture organization family institution then the political ideology values belief so at the end is what production and consumption economy forces involved so let me give you example at the end you will understand more clearly what is so at the end what we can culture is everything the study of everything is called culture so now i have given little uh, i have added some point for this culture 
and how culture was born my two speaker mentioned how it was born so it was born in the very the heart of the england so if you look in uh, england's map you will see where it is birmingham birmingham is the center center of england it is the heart of this heart of the england so it can go to the south it can go to the north it can it can go to the east this is the center ap center of the england so where they was born with the help of four four, four founding fathers who are they i have my two predecessors two speakers mention about these four fathers one is richard hogg raman william ib thompson and stuart hogg then now question comes why these four eminent four fathers they try to establish cultural study the question is behind is let me clarify let us know why because these four fathers you know they are coming from the working class they are coming from the working class they are very common humble because humble class they don't know about high class this is one point another point is you know england it seems like uh, you, when you see from outside england england is very class is a base on class there are so many division in england high class low class it was born in the victorian period since it was a victorian period there was a division in among the society among the people high class low class so from there on earth it created this elitism high culture low culture so and these four founding father they are coming from the poor family and to to the oxford university cambridge university they learn and they become a professionally teaching so when they reached in the academic arena they didn't find any about their the who are in the lower class so that is the, how it was born so after this i will come to the uh, to the how culture how culture is linked or related to everyday life this is the my topic and i in the beginning i said everyday life involves with the production and consumption so if you look in in a my very micro level my dear my all colleagues my dear friend you see if you look at the micro level of everyday life you see our everyday life is you see there is involvement of production and consumption. we pro we consume from the day we get off early in the morning till we fall asleep we almost consuming just beginning from the early morning to till we fall asleep so this way of life so i said culture is a way of life it involves the financial economy forces in behind this so let me define you everyday life plus 24 hours plus production and consumption okay is equal to culture so our life is anything it happens within the 24 hours what you do what i do whoever you do from early to till we fall asleep so it involves consumption and production so this is our way of life so let us see how culture means to every everything or how, how culture means to every day life let us see the food we eat the fashions we accept we adopt 
the entertainment we prefer the festival we celebrate so it happens in our daily life so it involves what suppose if you if we want to go a particular occasion we used to wear a particular dress isn't it so it involves what consumption and production right suppose if i want to eat a particular food so it involves production and consumption okay so i will give many example then you discuss it so in that perspective everyday life so it involves many things so now i will give you other example on the everyday life so how in the culture, individual represent or how we need culture come a class division in society okay i will read the question again and we we'll jump how come in even how culture mad individual friend or mad class division class division okay in the society so this is culture is very very powerful this culture can make a person identity who you are okay and it will also give you a class division among us so give me i will give one example uh the food you eat the dress you wear the lifestyle you live in as a whole presents you who you are who you are okay then i will give you one example just a very small example because how culture made a person an individual make an identity a representation or a class division okay let me give you one example suppose suppose you drive an a bmw car or mercedes car or a bugatti car ferrari car rolls royce car okay i am not giving a uh, star you this brand uh, like you and me i think i think my friend can drive i can't drive this because very costly huh? so such a person who drive a bugatti bmw mercedes car and then a what a chartered plane you know the chartered plane you hire a whole plane you allow you can fly alone nobody would allowed so you are traveling on a plane stay in a five star hotel with no personal security okay this is one person identity in our side okay in opposition that person that is another person who goes to office by driving a motorcycle and somehow he manages his family with small budget from his monthly salary i given two person with the culture's perspective to see how you i for so from culture point of view the person who can afford manix and the person who can afford under his limitations and another one beyond his limitations so the culture this is a culture because this allow a person to identify this is a culture making class division among this is happen in england okay it is happen in india it is happen everywhere so this is this is the influence of the culture this is a, i in the beginning i said what is culture it is a way of life very simple term. so this one example then another i will give the same question and i will give you the example in so how culture so influence in our day to day life is okay let me give you a how culture so influence in our day to day life is let me give you a example so culture is not a web by what you do to what others do okay this is called culture because culture involves i said in the beginning it involves economy forces unseen economy forces from there start to the end of the 
they there is involvement of trade and commerce come everything is involved buying selling our life is within the industrial house okay like we are living under the industrial house it this is called culture without even if you ask for love without money you can if you want a tea you have to buy it. if you want to toothbrush you have to buy it. all right if you want a, this laptop it is smartphone everything you have to buy it. is it culture it's environment is called culture this is culture what is culture i i in the beginning is four pounds is a boxes they are marxist very very dedicated boxes hardcore marxists the four founders are hardcore marxists they were tremendously influenced to these four founders fathers and they also apply to but it's true if you see in a reality cults what we do and what you do this is culture we apply so again i will give you an example with the day to every life how culture so influence in our day to day life is Let me give you one example. The culture of telephone, I think, is now replaced by smartphone. Okay. Then again, the culture of Vespa is now replaced by motorcycle and car. Again, the culture of telegraph letter is now replaced by email, WhatsApp, etc. Then the culture of conventional pedagogy with black white board or a marker or chalk is now replaced by online teaching the day of the culture now is the present trend at the present trend we are doing webinar this is also culture we don't have any option okay this is also culture so culture is just very powerful okay is something like a river it's, it's keep on running running okay in this river we are part of the this particle so we are doing so who met there so in and is culture is met who met in a society and who, in a society who are public you and me so we create culture culture is not coming from outside other planet So culture is made by us, and culture made us among the among our society, among people, making division, class division, hegemony. Because you see, when you have become a suppose if you are Bollywood star, whose lifestyle and our lifestyle just give me what is the different? They have a status, so they have given a. Privilege, isn't it? Public. They have given privilege. Who, who has given to them? Public. So this is one. So now everything is replaced by the new one. This is called culture, and it involves production and consumption. So another example I would like to add. This is in our every household. in our every household in every family nowadays i think we have 
TV, as you know, the TV at this generation without TV is not possible. Then the refrigerator, washing machine, car, motorcycle, laptop, smartphone, what not? This is you cannot forget your smartphone. All right. So this is our culture because it becomes like a something without this electronic electronic without we cannot move similarly here also without this we connect one another it's not possible i don't think so so this is our culture now no now our style of living also changed due to this situation so this is now become a new culture our lifestyle is now changing called culture I have so many examples, so many day to day. So my topic is on everyday life. So what does mean this changing? I would just give you one little point. It, I think it will cover everything. You see, our everyday life is, you see, the older forms, the old forms, the traditional form of society, and identity structures are breaking, completely breaking. I will repeat again. Due to this culture, the present culture, our lifestyle, the so called culture is at, the end, at this point of time, this century of beginning, 21st century, our whole course of society is are totally start breaking. And this, it does mean. So our culture, so now is big hybrid because mixture of rocket and the global. So this is how our any there's no pure local culture like this. Just let me give you why. Why do I say there is no local culture like this? At what time? Let me say. Suppose if you buy a particular job, what will you have to uh, organize at home or anywhere? What table or small? You wear traditional dress, of course, right? We wear tradition, traditional art here, okay? We do wear traditional stuff. But how far the fabric, the fabric we, you wear, I wear, how far is totally local? This is number one. And the other point is when we do wear a particular, for a particular purpose, okay? But at, even at that point, at that point of time, we always have it with the electronic catches, right? Whether you go to Pusa, you go to the uh, marriage ceremony, whether you go to temple, you always with the what? With the any sort of, maybe smartphone, maybe anything. So we are living in the every culture. The our culture is always like a dynamic. It is empty. Let me tell you, it is, a, of course, it's a Marxist story is there, but it is, it's a, it's a, it's a empty tradition. Let me tell you. Because you see, always you see language, culture, language also there in the office or whatever. So culture cannot stay at at any point of time. It it ball itself. It try to take over the tradition and to give a new what is called culture. Because we cannot. It is a global influence. So in any part, in everywhere, there is no pure culture everything is mixed up so this is i would like to get the point now you still i have a time and sir sir uh, 15 minutes more <laughs> i'm still stuck with with the introduction how can i complete within 15 uh, 15 minutes okay, okay no, i will try to okay sir uh, have... half an hour sir half an hour half an hour because oh, no, no, sir, sir. usually asking the feedback 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 there oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, I don't be just just point to me because I have to I have to consider thing I have to also. No, no, I yeah. won't take much time and just give me yes, a sir. ten or fifteen yes, minutes. Yes, only I have told you for fifteen minutes. <laughs> no. Yeah, I will make it short. Make it short. Just giving a point. So next, uh, I would like to give uh, the representation of a women, Indian women in TV series. This is very important area.
माझ्या कॉलेक्स सो इन अ कल्चरल पॉइंट ऑफ व्ह्यू आय वुड लाइक टू गिव द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ इंडियन वुमेन इन टीवी सीरियल आय एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडियन वुमेन ओके रिप्रेजेंटेशन दे हाउ इन द टीवी सीरियल हाउ वुमेन हैज गिवन अ वुमेन हैज अ गिवन अ सेंटर पॉइंट ओके सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विथ अ एग्जांपल सो इन द 80s एंड द 90s सो इट वाज अ पीरियड ऑफ before liberalization of indian women okay so in these and it was spread up before liberalization there was no liberalization in the country there was no liberalization by women in india there is no pp so there was a tv show only do dozen okay so at that point of time there is no, everything is a restriction and it is controlled by government of india so tv serial i will give 2 3 4 one is hum log and another one see okay and another one is ramayan mahabharata sanakya this serials are all made up 1980s and 1990s okay so that time i was also watching hum log santi ramayan mahabharata i am watching very interestingly so hum log and santi at that point of time it was a no liberalization of indian economy at that point of time there's non non bjp government at that point of time okay so they were given a women center point. and the, in the, this two serial of hamlock and santi who was very powerful working women powerful working women a very forceful individual you see i will compare with the now present okay at that point of time in the 80s and the 90s women are as working i using working working class okay working women class using in the table uh, tv set very forceful women decide santi as you know is a is a drama of uh, company and the chairman is a woman okay hum log is a family uh, family no? of the family matter at the end so it has given women at women at the center then another at the point in on the other hand there was a epic set ramayana mahabharata sanakya okay and they are saying in do me at the point center men ramayana mahabharata sanakya is a man center point showing what hindu raja okay so such type of two pel serial system different type of center of women and where going on at okay now in the 2000 now is 2020 2000 on which our boy is so after uh, this one time is post liberation post liberation then government even is free there is no control by government now you see private channel plenty of private uh, public channel a private entity so in this point of time now seeing women i will give you one example of the title i have seen many of my friend uh, colleagues have seen saas bahu okay this is in the uh, star tv serial and ghar ghar ki kahani okay this i am giving two example there was smriti irani was there at that point of time she was not a, a parliament member she was a star of the tv serial so showing the women protagonist and the movement of the character around a rich family okay a rich fa- joint family now is showing even today also almost every today serial you see a joint family rich family around the family and the protagonist is a housewife a housewife at that point of time in the 80s and 90s women were showing what working class women and now we are showing housewife you see at this point of time in the 21st century and the it's women are showing a working class and now is showing what housewife in indian tradition very passive helpless victim of uh, what saas bahu ah huh? team of the mother in law and heart for everything now is saying at this point of time what is this 